How you doing folks? In my last video I unveiled my latest project, this Mark IV, Mark III uh, Golf Cabriolet. I'm still trying to decide whether it's a Mark III or a Mark IV. Mechanically it's certainly Mark III anyway. It's got the four bolt, uh, four bolt wheels and uh, the engine out of a Mark III Golf and all of that, but a few body panels off a of Mark IV. So uh, as you can imagine, trying to source parts is just that little bit trickier, but it's not the end of the world. Anyway, I'm at the point now where it needs to be serviced. So I've already got it up on axle stands and the oil is now draining out of it. Okay, so uh, I skipped past that little bit and we're going to get stuck into it and uh, see if we can uh, get, it, uh, get it running really well. I do not know why people insist on stitching oil filters on. But that's exactly what's been done here again. So out with the oil filter removal tool. Oh my god, that's bloody well on there. For God's sake. Like that is completely unnecessary. It's going, but it's just very tight. They're supposed to be hand tight folks. I took the time in the last video to um, pressure wash the engine bay out actually and uh, I have to say it came up really well. Looks uh, looks the part now. It actually wasn't that bad in the first instance but just when I had the pressure washer out I said I'll give it a belt of it. This took far too much effort. <sighs> Jesus wept. Really on there. To be honest with you, the uh, oil wasn't that bad in it, which is encouraging. I've seen uh, much worse oil coming out of engines than what was in this. So that's uh, definitely a big positive. Now I'll get the new oil filter on there. So I've uh, filled up the oil filter with oil. So give the bearings a fighting chance in the engine. And spin it on and we just nip it up by hand. A good pull up is all it needs, but not with any tool. So I'm really impressed with how clean it is under here. I mean, obviously I pressure washed it, but like in that, like there's there's no corrosion or nastiness or anything like that. It's literally, it's like the dirt just came off the engine and left behind a very nice looking uh, unit. And it wasn't even bad beforehand, to be honest with you. Okay. Fine, now, okay, that's the uh, oil filter on, so let's get some oil into it. Uh, I'm gonna throw about three and a half liters in and um, we will top it off when it's off the, uh, off the uh, jack um, because the engine's uh, at an angle here. All right, okay. So now we've got oil and a new filter. Next thing I'm gonna tackle is the air filter. seen dirt here but we have a new one so we're going to put it in. So it's nothing except time and a few consumables just to get the engine bay all cleaned up you know. So little things like that to me are just worth spending that bit of time on. New air filter. It's about this is about four times as big as the one in the Mark II Golf over there. The, which I believe is far too small for the size of the engine. So, uh, yeah, which means you're changing the air filter all the damn time in it. Okay. Grand. Now, next job, spark plugs. Now, let's get the old ones out. These look like they've been in here for quite some time. Not to mention the fact that that one was not snubbed down as well as I would have liked. Let's see what they're like when we pull them out.
Ooh. Yeah, definitely do a change. They're a good quality, uh, good quality spark plug, but still and all, definitely need changing. So now what I always do is just uh, thread them in by hand and then just give them a final nip with the, uh, with the ratchet. There's a little bit of a misfire on idle on this car and I have a funny feeling this will actually sort that out. We'll, uh, we'll take off the distributor cap as well and yes this car does have a distributor and we're just investigating there and see how it's all looking. We may need to clean the rotor arm. It won't have points now, it's going to have a, a, an electronic ignition module such as it is. Hall effect sensor. Alright so that's that one. So just, just do that another three times and then that's that done. I am really not liking the feeling of this plug down here. It's uh, very tight coming out and I do not want to strip the threads in this. So we're just going to go very easy. Bear in mind it's a steel spark plug into an aluminium head and you're going to get galvanic corrosion. It doesn't happen if you change your spark plugs when it's supposed to, when they're supposed to be changed. But this car has been sitting up since well, according to the insurance disc, set in twenty seventeen. Like that's six years off the road. Now, it's probably had a couple of small runs since then, but nothing uh, nothing of any great significance. All right, now let's see how this one's looking. Oh God. Corrosion. Anyway, we got it out and we didn't take the threads, the threads out of the head with us. So, so uh, that's, a, that's a win. Get the new, new one in. They come with these little collars on uh, the the collars on the top here. You just pop that off. You don't always need it, and some cars you do, and some cars you don't. So okay, that's the spark plugs changed. So next thing, let's pop that distributor cap off and have a look inside there and see what's going on. All right. quite an old school engine this, I mean the fact that it actually has a distributor at all is quite remarkable. And that cap is not looking the best now to be honest with you. Well, could probably do it replacing that rotor arm, and the, the cap and rotor, but uh, for the moment I'm going to clean it up and uh, what I'll do is I'll see if the motor factors can get one and uh, I think we probably will put one in it. Yeah, we have to. The, Centre post is actually worn down completely on this, so it definitely has to be changed. Um, I wonder if they actually uh, do they actually have one now. I'll uh, give them a buzz and see. Okay, so this is definitely going to have been the source of our misfire. So I've actually ordered a uh, I've ordered a distributor cap and rotor arm for it anyway. So uh, for the moment, anyway, let's just clean them up because at least we can see how it runs with them clean. But uh, I know it'll be better with the new one, so we're going to do it. But uh, yeah, anyway, we'll keep moving. All right, it's a bit cleaner. Uh, as I said, I have a new one ordered anyway, but let's uh, let's just try it out anyway and see. Should have cured our misfire. It has to have been that, really. I mean, if it didn't cause the misfire, it was certainly going to soon enough anyway. There we go. All right, so that's the uh, distributor cap back on. New plugs in. And uh, we'll, there's oil in it, new air filter. So let's start it up and see how it's running now. Um, it should be... Uh, should be a hell of a lot better anyway. Well, the oil pressure light went out straight away, which is great. Um, the, that squeal was the starting motor. It was a thing that old Volkswagen used to do. It was really weird. I think it's the bushing in the starting motor. Uh, but anyway, yeah, so that's uh, 
that's that all sorted anyway. You can still hear there's a bit of a mist in it there, but we've got to get that distributor cap replaced anyway, and hopefully that'll clear it that. Um So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to have a look and see where that exhaust leak is coming from before I fumigate myself. Oh, holy kick finger. Look at the cut of that thing. Somebody obviously cut the cat out of this car in the past, and that is not a Volkswagen cat that's gone back into it. And that's certainly where a leak is coming from anyway, so... Wonderful. Right, so that's going to have to be replaced, or at least, at the very least, repaired properly. Ah, yeah. That's going to be one of those things that's going to have to be done by a, 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 an exhaust shop. I'm not going to be tackling that. It, it, trying, to trying to source an exhaust now in itself would be a pain in the face. Uh, but anyway, we'll uh, see if, uh, if an exhaust place can stick in a new section there and get that all straightened out, then happy days. Leave me to worry about doing some other stuff. That being said, if it's eating into the budget, um, those wheels might have to stay, unfortunately. But uh, what I will do is refurbish them at the very least anyway. So uh, I really don't want to have to do that. I have to change those wheels. But uh, yeah, I mean, there's more important things to be done. That's an aesthetic thing, whereas the mechanical things are uh, another concern. I'll show you another issue with it. Have a listen to this. That's the uh, spring hopping around on the uh, on the passenger side. There's a broken shock absorber on this, so well a broken spring on this, so that needs to be replaced as well. So I'm going to buy the whole strut assembly and do that. But um, yeah, things like that we have to budget for. You know, I mean, I can't leave that obviously. But uh, anyway, right. Look, that's a uh, that's another thing. Um, so at least we now know where the exhaust leak is coming from and what needs to be done with that. Um, but uh, yeah, we're, look, we're getting places with the engine. Now I do have a timing belt kit for it as well. So I'm gonna be doing the timing belt and I'll, I'll put a new alternator belt and power steering pump belt on it as well. The power steering pump belt has nearly fallen off it actually, to be honest with you. So that definitely needs replacing. But um, that'll, be, uh, that, that'll be another video, to be honest with you. I'm gonna do the timing belt as a separate video. But uh, yeah, so, okay. So we've got the air filter, we've got the oil, we've got the, uh, we're going to just have a look at the coolant and see how that's looking and um, yeah, I'm going to just have a think, here, a think here now. Okay, so that's basically everything done under the bonnet. So we can uh, close this down and worry about the other stuff on the car now. So the last thing I want to do today is actually just to replace the wiper blades. And uh, so we've got the oil filter done. We've got the, uh, the oil and filter done. We've got the air filter done, new spark plugs. I'm gonna stick in a new uh, distributor cap and rotor arm. I threw a bottle of injector cleaner into the fuel tank. I'm not gonna be going pulling injectors and overhauling them in this car. Coolant looks absolutely perfect. Brake fluid looks okay. So you know what? Let's just, uh, let's just leave them the way they are for the moment. What I'll do is when we're under the car, I'll have a look at the likes of the brake flexes and it might just bleed off a little bit of brake fluid at the, um, the slave cylinders as well. Just let any um, nasty stuff out of them. And if I feel it needs to be replaced at that stage, then I can do that. But uh, I'm not going to be going kind of lavishing this with too much kind of stuff. It'll, it'll get what it needs. So um, yeah, anyway, right. Wiper blades last and then, uh, then we'll call it that for the moment. Not much left in those wiper blades anyway, that's for sure. One, we do the other side now and then that's it. Rainy day wiper blades. All right then. Okay. These can go in the bin. Is that not much left on them? So. Right, next. Uh, Next thing on the agenda for this is I'm going to try and source a few parts. I'll get the timing belt done. I want to address the bodywork as best as I can and come up with a plan for that. I'm going to see if I can get a set of wheels for it. And what I might do is pull the exhaust off it and uh, get it, repair it off the car and then stick it back on again. If I can do it myself, I'll do it myself. If I can't, then I'm going to just get an exhaust shop to do it for me and then just pop it back onto the car and then that'll be, uh, that'll be that done. So uh, there is a bit of a plan here and um, yeah, so... Uh, 
we're we're, uh, we're getting there with it though we are getting there so that's a that's a, a nice bit of work ticked off the list so don't forget to uh hit the subscribe button before you go there folks and um i'll keep you updated on my progress on this car and uh, we'll hopefully get it out for a spin in the next while and um i will see you in a future video thank you for watching